He know, yeah, he knew me before. Okay. I got down, got popping. It was a video that he made when, like, when he first signed me. It was like, um, he's gonna be a star in two weeks, and no cap. Wow. I blew up in two weeks. What's going on, Rizzle fam? This is bad. I mean, just as everything was going down with YSL, tragedy struck. Young Thug is getting put away on more than 56 charges, including an 88-page RICO indictment. Gunna and a ton of other huge YSL dudes are also getting put away. As if all that wasn't enough, one of the only YSL members who wasn't taken in on the charges has passed away. That's right, Lil' Key at only 24 is gone. How does Thug feel about this? As YSL released a statement, was his passing away coincidence or is there something more involved? Lil Keed has been with YSL for a pretty long time and a lot of people consider him to be Young Thug's protege. He was born in Atlanta back in 1998, the fifth of seven kids. Eventually, he moved over to Cleveland Avenue, which is now pretty much notorious after the 88-page indictment. Young Thug used to refer to it as Bleveland, owning to the huge amount of gang activity out there. When Lil Keed lost his best friend Rudy, he decided that he really needed to do something important with his life, and he decided to start rapping. By 2016, he was taking it particularly seriously. His parents split, but somehow both of them managed to stay actively involved in Keed's life. Keed used to find work at places like Subway and McDonald's for a time when he was younger, but this whole time, he was also on his grind, heading to a nearby studio almost daily to record music. In 2018, Keith got his first big cosign. He featured on Lil Uzi Vert's track Heavy Metal alongside Lil Got It. That's also the same year Lil Keith released his big hit to date, Nameless. For pretty much the rest of his career, he managed to get features from the likes of Lil Yachty, Zed Oven, and Chris Brown. He was also included in the 2020 XXL freshman class. He was frequently compared to Young Thug, but many people acknowledged that he had a very unique flow that was all his own despite the obvious influence. In the 2020 interview with Complex, Lil Key talked about his relationship with Young Thug, saying, he's just a great person at heart. He's real pure-hearted. He teaches you stuff. He gives you game. He tells you some sh folks won't tell you. I know a lot of folks, they say they're big dogs and all that sh but they don't really help their people. He helps his people. That's why I love him so much. Every time we're with him, it's a great time. Thug has always been known to help out the people he cares about. Details surrounding Lil Keith's passing, even details as simple as his cause of death, are still unknown. DJ Academics has said that he's not entirely sure, but as far as he's heard, and to the best of his knowledge, it wasn't something serious. He's heard that it was something like kidney failure, or perhaps he got a bad batch of something, as we've seen time and time again with up-and-coming rappers. It's tragic to think that Lil Keith daughter, Nature, who's only three years old, is gonna have to grow up without her father. I'm sure YSL will take care of the family as best they can, but it doesn't make things any less heartbreaking. Lil Goddick, Lil Keith's brother, took to Instagram on the 14th to talk about how the loss was hurting him. He said, can't believe I seen you die today, bro. I did all my cries. I know what you want me to do, and that's gonna go hard for mama, daddy, our brothers, Nature, and white boy. I'ma hold this down. The worst part of all of this is that Keed is only 24 when he passed. I'd like to offer my condolences to Keed, Lil Got It, and the rest of the family and friends. Reaction to the loss of Lil Keed by the community has been huge. To start, let's talk about how YSL responded. I gotta say, I'm not really sure who's running the YSL Twitter page at this point, but someone posted a memorial for him. They said, a member of our family is gone. Lil Keed was one of the most genuine and heartfelt human beings. He was an artist who loved his fans more than anything else. We lost a brother, a son, a father, and a friend. Keep him in your prayers and his legacy alive. Long live Lil Keed. No one seems like they were hit harder than Lil Keed's partner and mother to his child, Quana Bands. She made a post on Instagram explaining how she feels about the situation, along with a bunch of short clips of her and Key doing things together. She said, Key, I just told you the other day if you left me with these two kids, I was gonna lose my mind. My mind is lost, baby. If I don't know anything, I know you love me and my baby more than anything in this world. As you can see, she's having an incredibly hard time. The whole Instagram post is actually really hard to read, and I desperately hope that she's gonna be able to carry on, especially for the kids. And I'm kinda at a loss for words on all this, you know, given everything else going on. As you all probably know, Young Thug and Gunna were recently brought in on RICO charges and a sprawling indictment, and Thug doesn't really have much of a chance thanks to some additional felonies he's received. Tons of celebrities also reached out to talk about how Lil Keith's death has affected them, and also just to offer their support. According to a post Quantum Bands made, NBA Youngboy actually reached out to help her and to make sure they were okay. She said, thanks for checking up on us being a gentle sweet soul. People don't know you as that, but thanks for even thinking about him and his family. 
All BS, life too short. Thanks, my friend. T.I. released a statement saying, Love for life, kid. Until we meet again, thanks for the memories. Low key. A few of the people who popped up in the voice their support were Zay Dovin, Rick Ross, and Rowdy Rebel. Yachty also made a post on Twitter saying, Damn, kid, I love you. While, of course, people on Twitter were pretty sorrowful about the loss of such a young rapper, there were also some rumors floating around. We still don't know the cause of death, and there's probably a reason for that. There's a good chance, even given the circumstances right now, the authorities don't want to let out too much. While foul play, isn't suspected, we still don't have the full story. Support from the community on the Twitter post was huge. Someone said, something ain't clear about this 24-year-old dying just for fun. Another fan pointed out how ridiculous it is that all this happened. To Keed of all the people, he said, I swear I say the same thing. Like, really? Keed of all people? Be feeling like I'm in a dream. YSL's been under investigation for at least six months now, and you also have to understand that this ain't over. Tons of other major gangs are being investigated all across the country, and Thug and Gunna aren't your only favorites who could possibly get locked up. I'm not trying to fear monger or anything here, this is just a whole mess. Gunna and Young Thug are facing serious times, and it's also a well-known fact that YSL and YFN have beefed for a very long time now. With all that going on, there's also some rumors going around about YFN Lucci. A lot of people think he could been cooperating with the police as a way to get revenge on Thug and the rest of YSL, but that's just hearsay. I can't sit around and act like he wouldn't have a good motive to do that though. I mean, Lucci is probably in jail for at least 25, and both sides have lost tons of homies to the beef. Only time will tell what actually goes on here, but for now, the internet's going wild with some absolutely crazy theories. One fan reached out to share his feelings on everything, saying YSL booked for Rico and they got Gunna from a little Key video from wearing a YSL chain and Lil' Keed is not arrested and a few days later Lil' Key passed away and it's been seven hours and it's no cause of death. It sound a little weird to me but rest in peace Keed, he was a young talent for show. Another fan had some different concerns saying if Gunna went down in the Rico simply for his YSL affiliation, wearing YSL chains, throwing up YSL, having an honorary YSL tattoo on his slime, wipe your nose finger, how come they didn't grab Lil' Keed and Lil' got it? There's gotta be something they ain't telling us. Another fan mentioned that it was a little weird that all this is going down right now, in particular, saying the one free YSL member dying immediately after everyone else got Rico charged genuinely seemed too coincidental. Rest in peace, Lil' Keen. Another fan even went so far as to do that whole Illuminati sacrifice spiel, saying, I'm not gonna sit here and act like Young Thug and Gunna didn't sacrifice Lil' Key, and I don't even know who he is, but it's not random. That's all I'm saying. They're out here sacrificing for money, fame, and meaningless power. It means absolutely nothing at the end of the day. Like, what are you on? Both of them are literally in prison right now. Maybe Young Thug could have actually shined some light on this whole thing if he could talk right now, but according to his lawyer, he's being kept in dungeon-like conditions. So there's no way he's about to be able to speak on this anytime soon. Hopefully we get a statement from him or some type of confirmation as to a cause of death soon, because for now, this is just too much. It's really just up to those two things for now. I would hope that Thugger would come out in support of his friend and tell us that nothing happened between Keaton and YSL, but that might not be the case. Young Thug's been hurting on some level right now. He has to have heard by now. One fan on Twitter pointed out in an interview Thug had where he mentioned Keed saying, I'll never forget when No Jumper interviewed Young Thug and Adam22 brought up Lil' Keed and Thugger said, my son? YSL can't catch a break. Rest in peace Lil' Keed and Free Thug and Gunner. But what do y'all think about all of this though? Is this terrible timing just a coincidence or is there's something else here. What do y'all think the cause of death was? Have you heard any rumors? Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to keep it rizzle as always. And make sure you peep this next story if you like what you heard here.